hello guys welcome to tech mod so uh, i will be getting lots of requests means on means how to test api and in postman and where we have to write uh, test cases and all so i will be discussing today's uh, how to how you can write test cases for api testing and uh, let's jump to the jump to practical example okay so so let's start with the basic one suppose we have uh, this api right now and this API is basically a JSON API, uh, JSON response, and where we have a user ID, and the user user ID is a key, and it's a and it is a value. So it's a very uh, simple API where we have a simple key value pairs, and we don't have any kind of object, any kind of array, right now. So it's uh, so to test it, to test its key value pair. So what you can what you can do is that first of all you copy the get request and go to your Postman, okay. And what we will do is that we will basically create a new request okay and let's create a new one here and we do this one and we'll make a send request okay and we'll see that response is there so now what we have to do is that uh, we have to write some test cases so what you can guys you have to do is go to this ta test tab okay now so in the api testing what we want is that we want to verify these fields means for the particular request of this one and we should have a user id is equal to one id is equal to one and title is equal to this so we have to verify they are not empty and they are as well as they contain certain values and uh, and this will be this then so we are basically making it data driven right now okay so first of all what you have to do is that here we have a certain code snippets already there so but first of all what we want is that we want to value check that user id id and title body all these key exist so you'll click on this and it will it'll pop up this uh, auto generated code for us right now so before that i will just say we want to verify only though first of all we have to verify the content type is json okay so content type is present yes content type is present so as you can see in the headers that content type should be present right so this is only that i'm verifying this one so let's send it and see if our test cases pass or fail yes so it means that content type is present so our api response response is correct and it has some kind of content type that is application slash json and uh, second test case most important one will be testing the response time so it, when you click on this it will generate that okay the response type should be less than two 200 milliseconds so it can be depend on depending upon your uh, need or what exactly you want so right now we have a certain apis who take about one to two seconds to do that because there are lots of calculations and user calculation are going on but it's okay so you can send it and see that okay Two, two test cases are passed so our coverage is increasing right now so let's check a json value before that let's uh, uh, do response body contain a string so what string that we want to verify is that we want to verify that all these keys are at least present first one and we'll delete this one and this this one will use so this is the third case test case and what i will do is that else send the response and it says body matches the string and if you want to uh, suppose if you want to do print what exact that user id is present or not what you guys can do is here you can write change to user id is present so your test case now makes sense user id present in the response and now what you guys can do to increase your coverage just write it up for all of them that id is present and change here to id change here to title and we'll write title is present okay and here we'll write body is present let's write api body is present okay that make that will make more sense and see send so six all of the test cases are passing okay now 
next thing you want to do is that you want to check certain value so one what we want is that user id should equal to one right uh, so what we'll do is that we'll click on user id and here what we'll write is that user id should be and here json dot value what we'll do is that user id and it should be equal to one because this is an object right and it will be in this one when you do json dot parse response body and when you do dot operator it user id will be accessible to this one okay so let's sign it and as you can see it's response time is less than this one is failing actually so it, let's do 500 seconds and you the user id should be but should be value is not present right so what you can do is that you can write json if you want to see user id here also so user id should be one and it is one or you can what you guys can do is that you can write console.log and see json data dot user id and done but nothing is visible for console right so what you guys can do is go to view show postman console and make a request again now you can see it says undefined why because we have this thing okay now it will work so we have a one user id oh you guys this this is how you debug or add you can add a logs so user id i am getting from api is and and it's saying you're adding one so these are the all test cases that you can uh, do and there are other test cases also for example uh this is this one is related to json and json schema so what you guys could do is that first of all uh, first of all you have to understand what json schema is json schema is basically uh whatever the structure that structure for your api it should be validated first for uh, in the api testing if you want to test api the first thing you should take is that schema coming coming is always the schema that you already have so what we are doing is that we will make a data driven where we will save this schema and we we'll always try to validate with the currently schema that we are getting so to do that what you guys can do is that go to this url let's go we will first of all what we know want is that we want json schema right so we'll go to json schema.net okay and Oh, sorry we'll copy this one and paste here and generate schema so it will generate schema for us right now okay now what you, what you guys can do go move to postman and replace this schema with your schema right and to delete this all the things and there is this one also and here what we like validate schema so what is this data one data one is a json response that we are getting with the schema that we have to do that's all so all so validate schema so what you guys have to do is that this share this test should be the first test of your api testing so first of all validate schema so let me write it uh not write it down let me mind you first of all validate schema so if you are not able to understand what a schema is schema is basically a structure of this api so this api is she is telling that user id should be integer id should be integer title should be string body should be string so first step is to validate schema second step is generate response time and checking the content type after that you move to your test cases where you uh, test for the user response that it said con it contains the keys and third one will be the values for that 
so this is how you do a test cases in the api and uh, i hope you guys liked it liked it so please like me like tech mode and all and see you in the next video